Hello, brothers and sisters in Heart Dwell family. May you all be blessed. This is a personal letter to a soul who found her relationship caught in an unfortunate web. I shared this letter and others I've shared on the channel in the past because when the Lord gives a prophetic word to a soul, his words are living and alive. That means many can receive it. His words are not just for that soul, but for many who may find themselves in the same predicament or know of a situation that is similar and his words can shed light as to what he's doing. This particular soul has been grieving for a while in a broken relationship, wondering if she should move forward, hoping he will change, or if she should let it go. They've been speaking about marriage and even have children together. However, there's a deep unhappiness, and something seems to be amiss. The Lord revealed this young man is not being faithful, and although they have children, it's time to let go that he bring another man who will respond to the grace to be a good husband and father to the children. I've mentioned to you guys before about how the Lord can take his grace and anointing and give it to another. So sometimes he has a perfect will in mind for you concerning a spouse. He brings that person, but they have to respond to his grace. And when they don't, in time the Lord will then remove the grace and anointing and give it to another soul who will respond to the call of marriage with you. You see, the Lord's purpose for marriage is to fulfill His unique will for both of you upon this earth. He has an end goal in mind with each soul that He puts together for the purpose of advancing His kingdom. And if one of the souls will not yield to that, He knows it will eventually lead to derailment of His purpose. So then He finds another soul who will respond to the grace to not only be your spouse, but who will in the end fulfill the purpose in which He put you two together. So you may be in a situation right now, in a valley of decision concerning a relationship that is spiraling downward, and you've asked the Lord to make his will clear and what to do, then this letter may be for you too. Jesus began, My beloved daughter, how it pains me that you have found out this way. I know the burden you've been under, the pain you carry so deep in your heart, from a sting of broken men broken relationships, and broken promises. And I am here, right by your side, crying with you, suffering with you, and carrying you through this fire. All is not lost, my beloved dove. All is not lost. I want you to continue to pray for him. Please forgive him, for much of this is tied with generational curses and strongholds from his family. He initially was my will for you, and I too prayed that he would respond to the graces I showered on him during this time. But he has not responded to the graces as desired to not only be a father, but to be a husband to you. So for that reason, my beloved one, I want you to let him go. Let him go into my fatherly hands, and I will mold and shape him accordingly. And in time, he will be all mine. For now, I have destined you for another another young man who will respond to the graces and be a wonderful father to your children and the husband you've always desired. In the meantime, I want you to see yourself in me. Find your love in me. Find your joy in me, beloved. I heard your consent in your heart when I proposed to you and you said yes to being mine. You still continue to run from me in shame. I'm continuing to run after you with my love. Don't fight it anymore, my little one. Receive it. Receive my acceptance. Receive my love. Receive my plans for your life. Allow me to wash away the stain of deep guilt you carry that has caused the wall between you and me. I am coming down to break down every wall, every barrier, and every lie that has caused you to be hindered in fully receiving my love. It is my love for you that will transform you, heal you, and restore you. Although this is ever so painful, do you see how I've kept you and protected you, my beloved one, and your children? I don't want you to hold on to the bitterness anymore that has choked out every inspiration and life force I've given you and the anointing destined for you. Do not listen to the Satan's lies and harden your heart any further, telling yourself you'll never trust again, love again, for that will snuff out my life in you, my beloved daughter. And you've had your light under a bushel for far too long. This is a new season of dead things being cut off, burned and removed from your life. And just around the corner is restoration, healing, a new life that you could have never imagined. 
Spend your days, your mornings, your time in my presence, beloved one, in this new season. Do not follow your anxiety chasing after a career, chasing after another relationship, or even chasing after your purpose. I know your purpose, and you don't. And it's in our intimate union that your purpose, your career, will be birthed. I had set you apart long time ago for my purpose to build my kingdom and work for me alone. Mother Elijah is a great example and inspiration. You have seen her life as I stripped her, removed her from the world, and put her to work for me. She has never lacked, but has rather overflowed now in abundance to be a blessing to so many all over the world. That is what I intend to do for you, beloved. Sit at my feet, wait on me, receive my love and healing balm of my presence. It is in that secret place your purpose and ministry will be birthed. With great anointing will I give you. It is in that place you'll find contentment and joy indescribable. It is in that place of hiddenness under my bridal veil that I will entrust you to my mother like a hidden pearl in an oyster, given to her, then given to the man that I have willed for you to be a worthy bride for him as he will be a worthy husband for you. For now, wait on me. Trust me, be with me, and come to know me and my ways. As you delight yourself in me, I will give you the desires of my heart for you. And that was the end of Jesus' message.